Ziggy Ziggers, I'm Nick. A few A520 motherboards have started to come through the studio and I decided we'd kick it off with some A520 coverage with the brand new Biostar A520MH. It's an MATX A520 motherboard that supports Ryzen 3000 CPUs and the new Renoir APUs as well. So let's uh, roll the intro then have a little bit of a chat about this brand new board from Biostar. with these motherboard videos these videos are not reviews they're just overviews so you can get an idea of what physically comes with these motherboards and what is in the box and what's on the board and all of that stuff so I'm gonna stop talking I'm gonna take a look at what's in the box and what's on the board let's check it out all right ladies and gents let's check out the Biostar A520 MH from Biostar it's the new entry-level AM4 chipset for Ryzen 3000 Matisse and also Renoir APUs as well. So let's take a look at what's in the box. First up, we've got the rear IO shield. This is some pretty standard stuff for these lower end boards. Now this board's really poised at being for business computing. So like for system integrators and people who are building computers for offices, right? Uh, next up, we've got two SATA or SATA cables for your spinning rust drives or your 2.5 inch SSDs. Also pretty standard for them to include this kind of stuff on these lower tier motherboards. We've also got some how to clean your PC documentation. It's a, a bunch of do's and don'ts with cleaning your PC, including uh, not using any type of liquids inside of your computer and just pretty standard uh, entry level PC knowledge. There's this handy dandy little flip out quick installation guide. It actually folds out to a larger piece of paper, which is uh, pretty standard for these motherboards. These boards are very simple. There's not a lot going on here, so not too much to confuse you over. There's also this uh, plastic silver spinning device that you either put your drinks on or you never use, but yeah, USB sticks would be good. All right, let's uh, pull the motherboard out and take a bit of a closer look and see what's going on with this super entry level budget motherboard. All right, let's uh, unsheath it and take a closer look at the Biostar A520MH. You guys ready? I sure am, let's do it. First off, we've got the front panel audio connector. There's a serial port header, a PWM fan connector. There's a clear CMOS jumper. There's two USB 2.0 headers. There's four SATA or SATA ports for your 2.5 inch SSDs or your spinning rust drives. There's three in a group and then there's one that's separated off on its own towards the right hand side of the bottom of the board. And there's also the front panel connector for all the lights and all the wires and all the switches to turn your system on. There's also a USB 3.1 header and a 24 pin power connector to send all the juice to your brand new motherboard and an additional PWM fan connector for your CPU fan. There's a single EPS power connector to send all of the juice to your brand new CPU. There's also a single by 16 PCIe slot. Now this motherboard only supports PCIe Gen 3 and it's the same with this chipset. There's also two by one slots as well. There's a single M.2 slot on this board as well and it is only Gen 3 because A520 only supports that. And speaking of A520, it here's the chipset right here underneath this passively cooled heatsink. It's not anything fancy, it's nothing amazing, and like I said, this is really the entry level chipset. It's poised to be the cheapest of all AM4 board offerings. And speaking of AM4, it's got a standard AM4 CPU socket. Nothing special going on here. It's got the regular cooler mounting as well for the OEM coolers that you get with these or for any other aftermarket coolers. And if we flip the board over, there's nothing special going on the back either. You can see the back plate for the CPU socket and nothing else fantastic. The VRM layout is very simple for this board. It looks to be a 4 plus 3 VRM set up with some doublers, but other than that, it's not really designed to take a 3950X, but you can bet that we're going to be doing it with this board. There's also two DDR4 RAM slots which support up to 64 gigs of RAM at a maximum of 3200 megahertz. And last but not least, the rear I.O. There's two PS2 ports there's a single HDMI port. Now the HDMI port is actually interesting because it only supports 4K24 with the Renoir APUs. There's a VGA port. There's some USB 3.2 ports. There's gigabit ethernet, some USB 2.0 and some stereo audio in and out. Okay, B-roll time. <laughs>
ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed this first look and overview of the Biostar A520MH. These A520 boards are meant to be uh, that entry level chipset for AMD CPUs. And I don't know why they actually waited so long to release these considering the feature set is probably closer to a 320 than you might think. The only thing really here is support for newer gen CPUs, but realistically, you can probably run those chips on those A320 boards anyway. But from what I see going around, these A520 boards are actually looking to be a lot cheaper than the A320 board. So if you're building computers for offices and that kind of stuff, these boards are looking like they're gonna be fairly priced. And uh, saying that, I don't know the price of this board, but I can guesstimate it like based on the quality of the components and what's physically on the board to be around 49 US dollars. That's that's my guess, I could be wrong, but I, I, I'm pretty sure that's what we're gonna be seeing for these boards, considering that's usually the going price for a 320 as well, but these are actually supposed to be considerably cheaper. So yeah, I'll uh, keep my eye out on pricing and all that stuff. The only real features that I think you're gonna be losing with A320, and it's usually the same thing with these lower end chipsets, is overclocking support. Other than that, well, that being said as well, not just overclocking support with A520, you're losing PCIe Gen 4, but I suspect if you're building a computer for Microsoft Word in an office, you don't need PCIe Gen 4. <laughs> You're also uh, losing some PCI speed as well, but yeah, nothing uh, that you wouldn't expect if you were buying a board for about 49 bucks anyway. Let's be honest, it's not gonna be the most amazing and most powerful board on earth, but I suspect it'll get the job done for that use case. And uh, as Biostar's marketing even says, it's a business class, motherboard, which basically means it's for pre-builts and system integrators and stuff like that. I would also probably go as far as and say, this is gonna be Biostar's only A520 motherboard. <laughs> I don't see A520 really being that huge, but it does need to exist because A320 existed. They didn't make A420. That would have been too much of a meme. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this first look. It's an interesting little board. You can bet your bottom dollar I'm gonna be doing a build and putting a 3950X on it to see if we can make the board catch fire. We will be doing that. That is definitely confirmed, but we will be seeing if we can make this board catch fire. But other than that, yeah, um, if I can find links to any type of store listing for this to find some prices, I'll, I guess I'll put it in the description, but yeah, I don't think you'll actually be able to buy this board very easily anywhere in the world. It's gonna be more for uh, resellers and system integrators and that kind of stuff. Anyway, uh, yeah, if you like the music you heard here, I make all the music that's available over on our Patreon. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you hated the video, hit the dislike button twice. Uh, if you wanna get early access to videos just like this one, head on over to our float plane and all that other stuff. I don't know how the internet works. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. You peak. We seek. And like I said, these boards aren't supposed to be the most amazing boards in the world. They're not even supposed to be uh, good. They're just supposed to get the job done. And that is the bottom line. Thanks for watching.